Hi, right, good afternoon. <clears throat> this is Wag Chicago. Back to Texas. I, I don't know how many more times we could tell you it's the Great Reset was coming, and then everybody laughed at us. Well, a handful of channels that were doing it. And uh, now, after that, we were talking about the uh, Farm to Table Reset. Also, Klaus Schwab wrote a book about that. Like, we're not making this up. We're just showing you information we dig up that they're not hiding. So, when we get now to the dark winter, literally playing out as they told us it was coming, nobody listened. God help these people that don't have any food and heat right now. Or maybe they'll be all right. I, I don't know how many cash is going to be out of this. I hope not many. Because I've seen people on Twitter saying, no, we were right, this guy was right. And they're actually laying blame on the people for not being prepared. You can't do that. When you're telling people what's coming, it's not to go back later and say, I told you so. We don't want the win for this. We just want to let people know there's things happening that most people aren't seeing. If you don't see, I always call it patterns, but there's other things that, reasons why certain people see things out of the crowd that most people just ignore. Certain jobs are related to that. but And then you carry it out through your whole life. That's why certain people see things and most don't. Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller issued a, quote, red alert due to concerns about the agriculture and food supply chain. <laughs> Do you remember, what was it, 2019? We had a hurricane over the Midwest for, what, three days straight? Look that up. Or go back on my channel. I reported on it. You can look it up right there. But uh, it destroyed about eight million acres of corn. And then the year before that, we had all the floods. Then the year before, or that summer as well, we had the double, triple. I think there was three hurricanes that hit coming in the North Carolina, South Carolina, all the way into the Midwest from there. Like it's just weird how all these things are just now. There's not gonna be any food. And then you see in the news, uh, you're going to have food out of uh, bugs and fake meat. You're going to laugh at us again, but again, I don't want to be right. And I'm not right. I'm just telling you what they're telling you. I'm not predicting anything. I do tell you what they're predicting. And it's all playing out in lockstep. Another book they wrote. <laughs> lockstep. Uh, Dark Winter was a military training program. Besides the fact of what they've been using for this year coming up. Or from last year into this year. Texas Agriculture Commissioner issues red alert over food supply chain. Uh, let me get this a little closer in case you want to read this, if it'll let me. Austin, Texas. Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller issued a dire warning Tuesday about the statewide impact of the winter storm. How about the dark winter? Just call it, like, call it what it is. It's already in the main news now. Come on. Come on, you people. We've only had a world record-breaking situation with ice everywhere. What, 75% of the country is covered in snow? I don't remember that happening too often. Anyways, back to the article. This is Fox 7 News out of uh, Texas here. Commissioner uh, Miller says farmers and ranchers across the state are seeing devastating effects from the cold weather. On their livestock feed and agriculture products. Yeah, well, it was your turn. They've hit the whole Midwest already. There's the two year backup supply of food has all been in the Midwest, was all underwater. Uh, you're running on emergency supply chain now. Nobody wants to believe that either. A lot of your fruit is coming in frozen. Uh, that's strange. Your meats, your fresh meats are frozen. I've seen it. I videotaped it. And then they tell you that's normal. No, it ain't. No, it's not. Uh, that's called the emergency supply that they keep, that they're already tapped into. Or don't believe it. You don't have to. Eat bugs, because you're going to be. Uh, Commissioner Miller says, Farm, okay. uh, as, Tex quote, as Texas Agriculture Commissioner, I'm issuing a red alert regarding agriculture and our food supply chain here in the state of Texas. Miller said, it, by the way, it's not just Texas. Like They're doing rolling blackouts in other states for what? Texas isn't on the grid with the rest of the country, so why would that affect the rest of the country? Come on, man. 
Dark Winter. I mean, what else can you say, man? Like, I don't even know what else to say. Of course they don't have any animals. They're, they're frozen. I'm not even going to read the rest of this. Nobody cares. You will. Just like everybody's going, oh, Texas. It's not just Texas. Mississippi's getting hit right now. All the states in the way from that stuff, they're getting hit right now with an ice storm. So it's not just Texas. But Texas sure it seems to be the the uh, center of attention. Let's say you're being the you're the redheaded step kid this time, and there's going to be other states that are going to be slammed as well. But we've already seen it. I don't know what else to tell you. Like they're not hiding anything. Like it's all there. Just nobody sees anything. You guys in my fan, or not fan. What do you call it? The, the 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 chat or the post. The people subscribe to my channel. You already know, so I'm not talking to you as far as down to you. I'm saying the rest of the people. I'm not even talking down to the rest of the people. I'm just saying they don't see it. And that's cognitive distance, by the way. When you tell somebody, hey, don't do something because you may get hurt, but they've lived their whole life not getting hurt by doing it their way, and they never looked into why it has no correlation in their mind, you're wrong no matter what you show them. You could show them like the mask. I, I can't keep not bringing this up. There is zero, zero, zero proof ever that a mask has ever done anything. Unless you have a rebreathing mask on that you can go underwater with, it ain't doing nothing. But you tell people that and they get angry at you. I'll keep telling you because you need to know. And uh, you're submitting to what? That's what you're doing. It has nothing to do with a journey. Neither does this have to do with global warming, by the way. They're now calling it climate change. This is all the same people, by the way. Who owns the new chem uh, program he's putting up to block the sun? Billy Goat. Right? Who bought all the U.S. farmland? Billy Goat. Who owns ID 2020? The Goat. Who owns the uh, patent 060606? Billy Goat. I can keep going. I got an hour. I'll keep going. He owns everything. And uh, your mask is because he's telling you. When have you ever seen him wear one, by the way? Yeah. Let me see if there's anything else here to stand by. So I just pulled up this article out of Feed Strategy, it's called. And it says the same thing about the, uh, the commissioner or whatever. But here it's, you know, 23 people have died. Two, three, or six. Just weird. It's just weird how that number is always involved somehow. Which has and it made me nothing. I don't know. Which I doubt it. Which has affected most of the continental U.S. with heavy snowfall, freezing temperatures, and dangerous wind chills. Also, they forget to tell you there's super high levels of carbon monoxide <clears throat> just showing up from nothing because nothing's burning. I'm getting calls from farmers and ranchers across the state reporting that the interruptions in electricity and natural gas are having a devastating effect on their operation. They knew two weeks ago. I, I posted that this storm was coming in the models, possibly coming, around the end of, December, or end of January. They had two weeks to know this was coming. Why was nobody even halfway prepared, especially your government? Dark winter. They were prepared. They knew this was coming. And now you're not going to have food. You're not going to have gas. Your gas is up the scale right now on price. Yep. Dangerous temperature. For, how about the humans? It's dangerous temperature for humans, too. But here's the problem. Once all that food dies, Billy Goat owns all the land. And he just told you yesterday with his new book that you're going to be eating uh, fake meat and whatever he's calling it. And uh, you're going to not like to taste it first because it doesn't taste like this meat. But since it's made in the lab, you'll get used to it. You'll probably be able to grow it out of your own 3D printers if you're allowed to own them anymore, which they tell you you're not. You're going to be renting everything. Like, they're not hiding any of this. I don't know what else to say. Like, this was all predicted. All right. And I feel bad for these people. I'm not doing this it's for a pat on the back or anything. I'm just telling you. Get ready. They're not done. This is just starting.
not the winner thing, but the whole thing. <laughs> They're not playing, man. Have a great day. This is Wag Chicago. I'm